Hey, how's it going? This is Ikuro Fei from Spectra Audio, and this is the overview video for the new 1.3 update for Engine, our algorithmic MIDI workstation. Engine is a multi-track MIDI sequencer that lets you use different generators and MIDI effects to generate different MIDI sequences and modify them in real time. It features 13 different generators, like Acigen and Polyform, and 10 different MIDI effects. If you'd like to see Engine in action, Check out the other videos available in the Engine playlist in the video description. The 1.3 update for Engine is now available, and it includes new features such as song mode, updated MIDI monitor, chord expressions, new shortcuts, as well as improvements to different parts of the system, such as display animations, visual effects, clock accuracy, file handling, memory usage, as well as many bug fixes. So in this video, we will go through the new features and most significant changes in Engine 1.3. The main new feature in this new update is the new Song Mode. Song Mode lets you sequence patterns and build entire songs using the Engine. It lets you sequence 64 different events, like pattern loading, and set each one of them to a different value and duration in bars. When enabled, Song mode would automatically advance through the event list and play the patterns and trigger these events in sequence. And you're also still able to control and operate engine normally while song mode is active. While in the song mode editor, you can use the menu encoder to navigate through the event list and control the settings and length for each of the events. It's also possible to add more variation to patterns by applying track mutes, which can be accessed via the track lock button. It's also possible to set the value of each event to a random value every time the event gets played, or set a fixed random value by pressing the Generate button. For example, I can play Pattern 1 for 4 bars, then Pattern 4 for another 4 bars, and then play Pattern 3. I'll also mute Track 1 during Pattern number 4. If I want to, I can also set my last event to loop back to my first one. While pattern sequencing might be the most common use case for a song mode, it's far from being the only one. While designing this feature, we wanted to expand on this idea, so song mode could be used not only as a pattern arranger, but also as a powerful automation sequencer. Besides letting you load different patterns and jump around your list, each event in song mode can also perform different actions, such as pattern and track generation, variation, reloading, and state randomization. This means you can, for example, Load a pattern, play it for two bars with some track mutes, play it again for two bars with no track mutes, generate a completely new pattern, and then loop around. Different actions can be sequenced and combined to create unique automation routines. The song mode list and the settings are automatically saved and recalled with every project. Our goal is to keep adding event types in the future so we can expand the possible use cases for song mode as a creative automation sequencer. If you'd like me to go through all the features available in song mode in a separate video, please let me know in the comments. The MIDI monitor included in Engine has also been updated in 1.3. It now features three different views, including a new status view, which lets you quickly check if Engine is receiving MIDI clock, MIDI notes, and if it's generating MIDI notes. The input and output views have also been updated to make them more usable and easier to understand. To help users get set up with Engine, 
The 1.3 update also includes new test options for both MIDI and CV. The new test MIDI feature sends a sequence of notes to each MIDI channel sequentially, and it can be used to check your hardware MIDI routings. The test CV1 and 2 also lets you play a 1 second long C note for one of engine's CV output pairs. Preclock also receives a couple of updates, and it now features improved BPM accuracy and a new animation that provides a better visual feedback to the clock's tempo. For this new update, they've also improved how Engine handles MIDI input and output, which reduce latency between different tracks and notes. The 1.3 update also includes many improvements and optimizations to file handling in Engine. If you're using a microSD card with Engine, you can now switch between the internal memory and the microSD via settings and copy files between the two different storage locations. This means you can now back up projects from your internal memory to your microSD, or copy new drum gen templates from your microSD to your internal memory. When copying files between different locations, Engine automatically takes care of organizing them into their appropriate subfolders. Some generators like Acigen and Pop have been optimized and can now use up to 30% less memory and reduce both pattern loading times and project sizes significantly. On the other hand, support for larger files and projects has also been improved to make them more compatible with new features like song mode. And starting with 1.3, projects will now be able to use different save versions for different parts of the project. This will let us continue to work on these different parts without affecting backwards compatibility. The menu system also receives some updates in 1.3. You can now quickly activate or deactivate tracks while in the track selector by pressing function plus the menu encoder. One3 also includes some new UI visual effects after booting and when entering the idle state. We've also added a new setting for disabling UI visual effects in case you prefer turning them off. We've also updated the chord framework available in Engine, and it now supports different chord expressions that affect how chords are played. Instead of always playing all notes at the same time, Engine can now play chords in 13 different ways. The pop generator is the first generator to use these new chord expressions via the new express parameter. When enabled, pop will assign different expressions to different chords in order to make them even more dynamic and expressive. We've also added a new mode to pop called Duo ESAC that uses a new rhythmic algorithm when generating chord progressions. All MIDI effects in Engine were also updated to better handle chords. The glitch in spray effects, for example, can now process entire chords instead of applying the effects for each node individually. Axon and ProgSec will now advance their internal sequencers correctly when receiving a chord. 
and effects like Humanizer and Strum would automatically adjust to features like chord expressions. You've also added a new clock source parameter to the track submenu that lets you either assign a specific clock generator for each track or set them to receive clock from all available clock generators. The 1.3 firmware update for Engine also includes many other bug fixes and improvements. The complete changelog and update instructions are available on the Engine user manual. And by the way, the Engine user manual has also been updated, and it now includes a print-friendly PDF version that you can download. For more information about the 1.3 update, check out our latest blog post at spectroaudio.com blog. Until next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.